Boogity, boogity, boogity. Hi guys, Brain Scare Alliant back with another video and today we are going to be running through our predictions for what Tom classes as a non-pay-per-view. Uh, it's not a pay -per it's only on a Saturday morning. <laughs> what is that? He's been going mental about this. <clears throat> that is not a pay-per-view. <laughs> but yeah, super showdown. The match card looks kind of iffy. Is that the right way to say it? to say the fucking least. But... A couple of the matches do pique my interest. No. No? None of them for you? One of them kind of does, but... Uh... Alright, fair enough. Well, uh, let's just get straight into our predictions. And well, the first match that we're going to be talking about is... It's a tag team match. The Iconics versus Naomi and Asuka. Right, let me start off by saying this. What, what are they doing with Asuka now? No, she lost the street, so she shaped. No, that that's that's the thing. This woman was, she she's held one of the best streaks in recent memory for being undefeated, and then just, mm, pretty much. They're gonna get her a title shot. They're gonna get her a title run, and then they're gonna do what they done with Goldberg, and then just uh, sort of flatten her up until she leaves the company. Yeah, it's it's stupid. Uh, but who have you got in this one, and why? Yeah. Asuka and Naomi. Yeah, they're going to go for the crowd reaction with this match. Yeah, pretty much. Oh, wait. No, I'm going to take the Iconics in this. Let the hometown girls have the win. Mm -hmm. Are you sticking with yours? Uh, I'm sticking with Asuka and Naomi. Yeah, I'll go with the hometown girls getting the win. So, next match I will talk about is the Cruiserweight Championship match, which is Cedric Alexander defending against Buddy Murphy. So, if you go in this, why? For this one... I'm sticking with my boy, Cedric Alexander. Cedric Alexander. I mean, the guy, the guy is practically unstoppable on two or five. Move him up. Yeah, I don't think they'll move him up. Uh, not at least not yet. Uh, they need to do something with him. He's he's too good for the cruiserweights. <clears throat> so, at least a job for now until he works his way up. But uh, I've got the same as you, Cedric Alexander. Fair enough. And the next match that we've got is Ronda Rousey and the Bella Twins against Riot Squad. Who are you going with here? I'm going with Ronda and the Bellas because look at, they're going to make Ronda undefeated for quite a while. You know, you know they are. Nope. The, the biggest, the biggest signing in WWE history. Which, well, they've said that is. I don't think they're going to go against. Fucking hard wizard. So I reckon Ronda Rousey and the Bells are going to pick up the win. Well, I'm going different here. I'm going to say the uh, the Riot Squad are going to pick up the victory. And it's going to set up for Ruby Riot against Ronda Rousey at Evolution. For the championship. I've just got a feeling that's what they're pushing for here. Because this match does feel like it was just chucked in there. No. At least if this happens, it gives that match a reason. It does, but can you really see them? Yeah, I can. I, I really can if they do things right. Now, the next match that we're going to talk about is Daniel Bryan against The Miz for the number one contenders match for the WWE Championship. A match that's kind of got me intrigued, but... I'm interested in this one. A lot. I, I, I don't know. They're just running out of new opponents for AJ Styles, I'm guessing. And they're just throwing, ma throwing man and man matches together. Who says AJ Styles is walking away with the championship? This this may be versus Samoa Joe. No, I don't reckon. So, who have you got in this then? Uh, for me, I'm taking The Miz on this. I'm going to say that The Miz is going to get his title opportunity. And do you know what? I'm hoping The Miz takes the title no. and then hangs on to it until WrestleMania of next year. And then lose it against Daniel Bryan. And then lose it against Daniel Bryan. We all want to see that Daniel Bryan versus The Miz at WrestleMania for the championship. We all want to see it. Come on. Uh, but uh, but uh, I'm saying I'm get, I'm taking fucking Daniel Bryan in this. Daniel Bryan in this because, one? Because, you know, he's basically got shit to do it to matches against The Miz and they want oh, so much revenge and... It's just, just building up for the same old uh, Daniel Bryan storyline. So I'm taking Daniel Bryan on this. 
Because we don't just set the bar. We are the bar. The next match that we've got is for the SmackDown Tag Team Championships. And this is The Bar versus New Day. Who have you got in this and why? New Day. Because The Bar are going to be splitting up very, very soon. Because, you know, Sheamus has to retire. Yeah, Sheamus is going to have to retire at some point because, well, his injuries are getting too much for him, for him aren't they? So, I, I don't think they're going to give him one last run with the championship. I do. I'm, I'm, I'm taking the bar on this one. Uh, and I do actually think that they'll give the bar that one last championship run. That one last hurrah. Pretty much, yeah. No, if they're going to give uh, Sheamus that title to end with, the title that started his career off, the United States Championship. Because yeah, he, he, he has to be the full-on heel while holding it, though. No, ah, he, he was one of the most dominant United States champions, champions that we've seen in recent history. So, next up, we have John Cena. And why the fuck is he still wrestling? Bobby, boring, largely, against... Elias and Kevin Owens. End his career now, please. Please, please, a fucking Kevin Owens pop up powerbomb on the apron, do <laughs> something to him, please. Well, do you know what? Do you know if I was a bigger channel, I would have to start producing t shirts that literally say Bobby Boring largely <laughs> on them. Fucking hate them. Oh. So, who have you got in this fucking awful, dreadful match and why? Drum roll. It's a bit obvious. John Cena and Bobby Lashley yeah. are walking away with a victory here. John Cena's been gone for, well, months. Since Chris Rumble, huh? Eh? I'm, I'm not sure. Years. I just know it, it's been a long time and they're not going to have him come back and lose, are they? No. Uh, considering he's a part timer you now, they're going to give him the win. No. I reckon after what's happened on Raw, they're going to give the win to. Elias and Kevin Owens because Jesus Christ the booze and the booze them to go. Next we have Becky Lynch against Charlotte Flair for the SmackDown Women's Championship. Who have you got in this and why? Becky Lynch. They're not gonna they're, they're not gonna ever drop the title just yet. Well I, I do like the fact that they've actually solidified her as a heel now, having her attacking Charlotte. Uh, after the match that they had out. Because it was a bit iffy on whether or not she was a heel. But I think that kind of shows that she's a heel the way she ran in. And just started bashing fuck out of Charlotte. Right, but doesn't heel, right? Like, define good guy or bad guy. Right? Kind of, yeah. So, Becky Lynch, as a heel right now. Everybody, no matter what, everybody still cheers for her. They cheer and, for her more now. And as a heel, you are meant to get boos, like nothing but boos. I don't see this lasting. I don't see Becky Lynch as a heel lasting. She's going to go back to being face as soon enough, like really soon enough, I think. Mm. But I, I don't know. I like seeing this side of Becky just ruthless, like I'm out for me. Uh, Fuck it. I've, I've had enough. I'm out for me. Fuck everybody else. Mm. Uh, but for me, I'm, I'm going with Charlotte on this. Yeah. Mm. I'm saying it's gonna have a little back and forth, uh, no, and no. we will we'll see Charlotte against Becky at Evolution for the championship. Okay. Except they'll probably add a stipulation to make it just a little bit more better. Uh, probably. Right, so next we're going to talk about the WWE Championship match, which is AJ Styles versus Samoa Joe in a no DQ, no count out match. So who have you got in this and why, Brian? In this match, uh, I'm gonna take. You know what I'm going to take? I said it last video. I'm going to continuously say AJ Styles. I want AJ Styles to just run through with the championship. I love Joe. Like, Joe's brilliant. But no, I'm sticking with AJ Styles. I'm, I'm saying the same. I, I want to say some more Joe again. But the way they're having it is AJ Styles is going to hold on to that championship for quite a while now. So next match that we're going to talk about is the Hounds of Justice, the Shield. Against the Dogs of War, Braun Strowman, Drew McIntyre, and Dolph Ziggler. Who have you got in this one and why? I'm taking the Shield. The, 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 shield. Shield, the shield are going to win. 
it's been building up to that. They've fucking got Braun Strowman, who is, you know, j- just destroying everything. Mm. And they're going to have the uh, pack mentality, you know, just sets in and the mm. shield will destroy them. Well, uh, in this match, I'm going to say that it's going to be the Dogs of War. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to say it's going to be Braun, Dolph and Drew. Because I'm saying that Dean Ambrose is going to jump off the apron and walk away. I'm not saying that he's going to attack his shield brethren. I'm saying that he's literally just going to jump off the apron and walk away. No, true. And ladies and gentlemen, it is now time. For your main, main event. event! Last, but definitely not least, we have got what is probably going to be the main event of the whole glorified house show. Triple H against The Undertaker. Have you got in this one and why? I'm taking Triple H on this. A lot of people have been saying the exact same, that this is Triple H's time. Yeah. I mean, the, the news that... Shawn Michaels and Triple H are going to be teaming up against the Brothers of Destruction. Kind of makes me go, well, maybe we'll see The Undertaker win. But, no, I'm sticking with my guns here. This is Triple H's single win against The Undertaker. They needs it. They need to give it to him. This doesn't really count as a big fucking match. as a glorified house show. No, but this match is being broadcast as a big match. Mm. Last time ever. Well, the same ever, like, even though you know I fucking want John Cena against The Rock once in an era. I fuck off once. No, once. It wasn't once in an era, once in a lifetime. Oh, once in a lifetime, even fucking worse than that. Two <laughs> WrestleManians in a row. <laughs> well, come on, who have you got here? No, uh, I've got Trips. Are you, sti- are you sticking with Triple uh, H as well? Uh, tri- trips are going to win this. And well, there you go. That's Super Showdown. Yep. The glorified house show <laughs> with Bobby. Boring. Do you know what? I, I'm gonna get that T-shirt printed for him. Or the fucking Bobby Lashley face just printed on the front, like, <laughs> like his face says every fucking time. He's got no emotions. <laughs> As usual with these prediction videos, there's gonna be a forfeit. Uh, Tom, would you like to tell them what the prediction forfeit is? Eggs. Eggs. Yeah, we got. We decided to go simple. The loser of the predictions is literally just going to get egged. Yes, and we are really excited for this one. Do you get it? Uh, In the past two days, I have heard too many egg bones. I am tired of them. I want to go to bed. They are excellent, though. Anyway, if you like this video, give it a like. Let us know down in the comments what your favourite egg pun is. Also, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification button so you can always stay up to date on the content. And yeah, we will catch you guys. I'm not doing it.